Welcome back, my people. I always start by appreciating you people for being a family to me. It's all because of your support that I'm where I am and I'm proud of where I am today because if it were not for you, this channel could not have been where it is at the moment. And as I, I said at the end of last year, without you people, I'm nobody and I will not go anywhere without your support. So, let's just start where we, we left last year and continue pushing tirelessly to achieve our goals and I, as I promised, I'll never ever tire. I'll never ever get tired. I'll continue giving you education of bangers until we get educated to the fullest. Let's get back to our topic whereby we are concluding about our topic which we started last year about vomiting. So, how do we stop vomiting? Especially in children. We talked about vomiting in uh, adults and how do we stop vomiting in children? So, vomiting in children is always caused by viral illnesses and doesn't necessarily require medical treatment unless the vomiting is severe or the vomiting persists. As we have been talking about, most of these uh, viral diseases, your body immune system always fights back. So when your immune system or your child's immune system is strong, it will always fight back the, the virus. You can reduce vomiting by modifying your child's diet. You can reduce the vomiting by modifying your child's diet. As a rule of thumb, you may want to avoid solid foods for up to 24 hours and instead offer the following. Ice chips, water, electrolyte uh, solutions and pep Pepsi-Cos. Let me repeat this. As a rule of thumb, you may want to avoid solid foods for up to 24 hours and instead offer the following one. Ice chips, water, electrolyte solutions and Pepsi Cos. A modified diet can also help prevent your child from becoming dehydrated. We say dehydration is all, as always very strange side effects or complications. For example, brain shrinking, kidney damage. So, a modified diet can also help prevent your child from becoming dehydrated. Eating solid foods may include more vom may induce more vomiting, sorry, leading to further dehydration. That's why you may opt in taking a uh, uh, you may want to avoid solid foods for up to 24 hours and take ice, ice chips, water, electrolyte solutions and Pepsi cause because uh, eating solid foods may induce more vomiting leads to further dehydration and more dehydration complications. For this reason, a pediatrician may recommend a liquid diet for 12 to 24 hours. For this reason, which reason that solid, food, solid food, foods can induce more vomiting. So a pediatrician may recommend a liquid diet for 12 to 24 hours. Talk with a doctor or pediatrician if your child is vomiting liquids. So if your child is not retaining anything, talk to your doctor or your pediatrician. The doctor may opt to admit the child and administer intravenous fluids to prevent dehydration complications. 
So if the child is not retaining, talk to your doctor and he, he or she will give you the way forward. Have your child, have your child lay on the sides to minimize chance of them inhaling vomit into their hairways. So the child should lie on their sides to prevent inhaling vomitus into their airways because it may end up entering the lungs and cause severe pneumonia. A point to note, medications and alternative treatments are not generally recommended without doctor's approval. So don't give any medication or treatment without doctor's approval. Medications to stop vomiting for further treatment, for medication to stop vomiting, further treatment for vomiting will depend on the underlying cause. Or the further treatment or the medication to be given will depend on the underlying cause or what has caused the vomiting. Uh, illness, unless Unless you know the cause of the vomiting, avoid taking medications without talking to your doctor. Avoid taking medication without talking to your doctor unless you know the cause of the vomiting. Over-the-counter medication, for example, antiemetics, may sometimes be used to stop upset stomach, nausea, and vomiting. Let me repeat this. Over-the-counter medications, for example, antiemetics, may, may sometimes be used to stop upset stomach, nausea, and vomiting. For example, peptobismol. This medication helps to stop stomach lining and reduce vomiting caused by food poisoning. So, these medications, for example, peptobismol, will help stop stomach lining and reduce vomiting caused by food poisoning. So, side effects of antihistamines include the following. What are the side effects of antihistamines? One, blood vision or interference with the eyesight, drowsiness and also dry mouth. Let me repeat this again. Side effects of antihistamines include dry mouth, drowsiness, and blurred vision. My people, this marks the end of our discussion today. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for giving me your time. And I hope as a group or as a family, we are going far. For those who are commenting on our videos, I will always appreciate you because without you, this channel will not go anywhere. For those who have not subscribed, make sure you click the uh, subscription button. Then after subscribing, put the notification bell on so, so that whenever I produce any video, YouTube will automatically notify you and you will never ever be left in behind. So let's continue putting uh, our heads together. Let's combine our efforts together and move this channel to the next level. Have a good evening and may God bless you in this new year. Happy new year to you all.